Hey guys, welcome back to Bible Time. I'm so glad to see you again. I'm glad you're here. Yesterday, we learned a new story from the Bible about the ten lepers. Remember, they were ten men that had a terrible disease with big, bad boo-boos all over their skin. They hurt and they were so contagious, they had to be far away from their families and even far away from town. When we read that story, we really tried to focus on Jesus' power and his mercy. Through God, Jesus used his power to heal those men. He didn't have to take them to the doctor. He didn't have to go find special medicines. He didn't have to do whole surgery or anything like that. God or Jesus just said, go to the temple and show yourself to the priest. And the men looked down and they were healed. They had faith in that power. It's pretty awesome. So thankful for the power and mercy of Jesus. Well, today we're going to talk about something else. Not only his power and mercy, but we're going to talk about something that God deserves. And in our story yesterday, only one person turned around to say what to Jesus? Only one of those ten men turned around to say, thank you. Thanks. Isn't it nice to be thanked when you do something? Isn't it nice for somebody to say, I really appreciate that. You did a great job. Today, we're going to talk about being thankful and also praising our Savior. This word says praise. What does praise mean? I know you like it, even if you don't know what praise is. Praise means when you tell someone how much you appreciate them. You tell them how good they are. You tell them what they're good at. You like to be praised. When you do something good on the baseball field, it feels good when somebody says, Oh, good hit or good catch. In the classroom, I love to walk around and look at your work and say, Oh, look how neatly you wrote that. Good job. Or you work so hard to blend those letters together and make that word. Great job. It feels good to be praised. Well, God our, and our Savior Jesus Christ, they deserve our praise. Can you think of anything that we could praise Jesus for today? I can. I can think of so many things. Thank you for your power. Just like, like Daniel in the lion's den. Wasn't that such an awesome story that we learned about earlier in the school year? We learned about how Daniel didn't have to be afraid. He closed up the mouths of those lions, used that incredible power, and he was safe and sound. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they were sent into the fiery furnace be terrifying but he again used that power to save them because of their faith God should be praised for that he should be praised for his love for us for his forgiveness because you know what I need forgiveness I mess up everybody does and I need that and I need to thank God for it I need to praise him with all my heart today we're going to read a little make-believe story. This is not in the Bible. This is just a pretend make-believe story. And I want you to listen carefully and see if you can hear someone maybe showing thankfulness. That means like gratitude or somebody even praising someone else. Listen carefully. This is the story of a little girl named Lexi, just like my little friend Lexi. And another na friend named Rachel. So listen carefully. Lexi was so excited to go to Rachel's birthday party. She was just giggling with excitement. Have fun, her mother said as she walked Lexi up to the door. Now you be on your best behavior and remember to thank Rachel's mom, Mrs. Herb. The party was wonderful. There were balloons and streamers. Rachel and her friends played games and had yummy cake and ice cream. Mrs. Herb did tricks and made everybody laugh. Rachel loved her presence and she thanked everyone and gave them a hug. It was a terrific party. 
At the end of the party, the moms and dads came back to pick up their children, and the children all excitedly told their parents all about the fun they had at the party. And as Lexi was walking to go get in her daddy's car to leave, she said, Wait, I forgot something, Daddy. And she ran back into the house. Lexi had forgotten something very important. She ran up to Mrs. Herb and said, Mrs. Herb, thank you so much for the wonderful party. And she threw her arms around her and gave her a big hug to thank her for letting her come to the party. Why, you're welcome, Lexi, said Mrs. Herb, Rachel's mom. I'm so glad you came to say thank you. You know, you were the only friend that came back to say thanks. I really appreciate that. Now then, that's the end of our story. Did you listen carefully to that? What was Lexi so excited about? She was excited to get to go to her friend's party, her friend Rachel's party. Her mother reminded her to be on her best behavior and to use her good manners. And she also said to make sure you thank Mrs. Herb, Rachel's mom. Now, Rachel's mama worked hard to make it a wonderful party. She made sure that all the children had fun and Rachel was celebrated. Her mom worked really hard for that. And what happened at the end? All the other children were excited. Everybody had a good time. And then everybody left. And only one person remembered to say thank you. How do you think that made Rachel's mom, Mrs. Herb, how do you think it made her feel? I bet it made her heart so happy when somebody remembered to say thank you. She had worked so hard for that. She deserved a thank you for all that effort, for making sure it was so fun. And how nice of Lexi to remember. It feels nice. And it makes your heart happy when somebody thanks you when you've worked hard or you've done something nice for someone else. You deserve to be thanked and appreciated. Well, guess what? Even more than we deserve it, because we make mistakes, God deserves it. He deserves every bit of praise we can give him. I want you to think right now, is there something you can think of to praise God for? What do you think? What's something that God has done for you that you can tell him thank you for? I bet I know a lot of them. You can thank God that you're healthy. You can thank God that you have a wonderful family that loves you. How about all those toys and wonderful things you have at your house? Have you got food to eat? Have you got a nice house to live in? Of course you do. Has God forgiven you when you make mistakes? You betcha. We can give God all the praise and glory for that. We should give him all of it. We're so blessed by him. I hope you can try to remember throughout the rest of your day today to praise people when they deserve it. Like sometimes mommies and daddies get tired and it's hard to take care of everything they need to in the house. If you see someone in your home taking care of your family, like taking out the trash or unloading the dishwasher or cooking supper for you, how can you show them that you appreciate them? Can you praise them? Can you thank them? Of course you can. So when you look around your house today, tell whoever it is, thank you for whatever they're doing for you and for your family. Everybody enjoys and needs to be thanked. That's right. And even more importantly, today when you're playing and having fun or when you're working hard on your schoolwork or when you bow your head to pray tonight before you go to bed, I want you to think of something, some way to praise God and thank Him for your blessings. That's right, you sweet guys. I know you will because you are a blessing to me. Do you know that Miss Rush and Miss Cavan and I pray for you? And we thank God for your hearts. And we thank God that we get to know you and love you. Even if we don't get to see you as much anymore and we miss you, we're still so thankful that we got to know you and have you in our classrooms and become a class family. You are very, very loved. Well, today, for the last of your Bible page, 
or your Bible activity, I need you to do page, <clears throat> excuse me, I had to cough, page 106. And it is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You can do it. The instructions say, color the shapes. It kind of looks like a puzzle. It says, color the shapes with a dot in them. And then you will see a secret message. So if there is a shape on your page and it does not have a dot, do not color it. But if it does have a dot, color it in. And when you have colored in all the dots, you will see the super cool secret message. And you can use any color you want. You can use lots of colors and make it rainbow. Whatever you prefer, that secret message is pretty awesome. It has something to do with our lesson. It has something to do with this. That's right. And while you color, I want you to be thinking about some way to praise God. Every time you color in a dot, think about something you can tell God you're thankful for. Can you do that for me, friends? I know you can. I love you, and I hope you have a blessed, blessed day. I love you guys. Oh, I forgot. I promised to sing a song. I have not gotten any messages yet about what songs you want to sing. So, hmm, I'll just have to pick one, and I've got one. Help me sing Fuzzy before we go today. Can you help me? All right, get your finger up. Fuzzy was a caterpillar, he wiggled up a tree, he wiggled long, he wiggled short, he wiggled right at me, I put him in a little box, now don't go away, I said, but when I opened up the box, he was a butterfly instead. Now I could never make one, not even if I tried. Only God in heaven above can make a butterfly. Oh, I love that one. So sweet. And that song is praising God in heaven for making butterflies and everything else. Because we can't do that. Only God's power can do that. Oh, I'm so glad we remembered to sing together. Friends, I hope you have a blessed day. I love you so much. See you soon. Bye, guys.